There are lots of things in this world that give us pleasure, but when something makes you feel too good, there's a downside. The risk of addiction. Millions of Americans struggle with it. Many die from it. The radical new technology might cure all addiction and do it in just minutes. The Brookside Institute in Southern California is working on a revolutionary device that could put an end to bad habits. It's called the Transcranial Magnetic Stimulator, TMS. Kim O'Donnell has been fighting drug addictions most of her life. I'm a recovering drug addict, 23 years in addiction, and have two beautiful children that suffered tremendously throughout my addiction. Kim is now a patient of Dr. Yi Jin at Brookside. Once a week, she comes in to have her brain zapped with a high-powered magnet, and immediately after, her cravings simply melt away. Here's the idea. The things we do that make us feel good cause neurons in our midbrain to release a chemical called dopamine, and we experience pleasure. In most of us, the frontal cortex, the rational part of the brain, soon rests back control from the midbrain, and we get back to being productive. But in the addict's brain, the frontal cortex isn't strong enough to rein in the midbrain's primal urges. So all the addict does is focus on getting more pleasure. The goal of TMS is to make the frontal cortex stronger so it can beat back those urges. Dr. Jin thinks he can identify addictive people just by looking at their brain waves. He also believes those waves are the key to curing them. There are three main components of brain waves in our waking lives the beta, theta, and alpha waves. The fast-ticking beta wave dominates when we're alert and working. A slower theta wave is most prominent when we're about to fall asleep. And the medium-paced alpha waves rule when we relax or close our eyes in a calm, meditative state. We focus on the alpha wave because we believe all the behavior is more or less related to your natural state of the brain. If we know your alpha wave, then we can tell pretty much why you behave like that. If you think of the brain's alpha wave like a kid on a swing, this is what a normal, calm, non-addicted brain looks like. And this is what an addict's alpha looks like. A lot of people, if the alpha wave oscillate in a very extreme case, which is beyond the, the limit of uh, uh, the normal boundary, they tend to feel very abnormally, for example, anxiety, depression. They use substances, alcohol, cocaine, or something else to try to cope with this type of feelings. Then after that use, the alpha wave will be further distorted from their normality. Dr. Jin's hunch was that TMS could make an addict's alpha wave look like a non-addict's, and that doing so might cure them of their addiction. First, he records the addicted brain's alpha wave with this electrode cap. You can identify each individual's uh, brain signature. Everybody has their intrinsic frequency. Once he knows that frequency, he adjusts the transcranial magnetic stimulator to precisely match it. He then zaps the patient's cortex with a magnetic pulse, once for each alpha wave oscillation. EEG can be modeled very much like a swing. Then if you know exactly the peak of this frequency, then you use the magnetic pulses to modulate that things, to stimulate that frequency. It's very much like a single finger to push the swing. Just as you get a kid to swing higher by pushing him only at the high point of the swing, TMS treatments repeatedly nudge the brain's alpha wave, boosting it into a strong and steady level, imposing a healthy, non-addictive pattern over the unhealthy one. And the results look very promising you gain understanding on how you operate, and that's what I got from it. You know, our brain is a very tricky thing, and we can play mind games on ourselves. Um, but I see the future being that neuroscience is going to be very effective. Our rates are in the 60, 70 percent of people that are really doing much better and living much more complete lives, utilizing all of neuroscience and all the things that it offers to treat people. And beyond treating addicts, TMS could improve normal brain function in everyone. Dr. Jin should know. He's been zapping himself with the TMS almost every day for the past nine years. I found it's a very calming effect, 
and I also give you a, a much better concentration and a, a slightly clear mind experience. After about 10 minutes of stimulation, I feel like a, a ping pong ball stick in my head. It's, it's a very unusual physical feeling. I start to feel slightly euphoric, and then I like to talk. So my students can tell immediately, said, wait a second, you're, you're a little talkative today. If the TMS proves to be effective and healthy, we could see a portable version. And someday, it could replace the after-work martini as a blissful bit of daily life. Not long from now, maybe everybody, including me, myself, will carry a machine uh, to home and then put it against uh, my pillow so that I can stimulate myself while I'm going to sleep. Humans love pleasure, but sometimes we go overboard and we get addicted. We try to handle that with 12-step programs, psychological counseling, even patches. TMS is a different approach. It's a one-step program that will change the future of handling addiction.